All right, just two quick updates for you today. Thrive released a decent sized update to the suite. And in there are two new features that I think are really applicable to several of you who are running uh, dynamic websites, um, which is just a fancy way of saying you have a membership site or a course website run through Thrive Apprentice. And this first update, it has to do with how the users get access to the back end of WordPress. Now you might be saying, well, no one gets access to the back end of WordPress, right? They log in, they go to their course section or their membership content in my Thrive products, and they never go back into the WordPress backend. Well, little did you know, until now, unless you were using another plugin, if a user did a password reset, so for example, they click forgot my password, and they fill out their information, and then they click get new password, they're actually going to get into the back end of WordPress. Now, they're not going to see anything other than that ugly WordPress back end, but it's really unprofessional for them to suddenly be thrust into the back end of WordPress and kind of be like, well, how do I get back to the website I was just on? To many people who don't use WordPress, the back end is actually kind of weird. So what we want to do is set this new feature that keeps them only on the front end. Where you want to go is to your Thrive dashboard, and you're going to scroll down until you find User Access Manager. Now, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to scroll down and look for WordPress Login Redirect. So when a user logs in via WordPress, where should they be redirected to? And the user role that you want to look for is Subscriber, because typically in pretty much 99% of the cases, you're going to be having users get a subscriber role on your website. They're obviously not an administrator. They're not an editor, author, or contributor they're a subscriber. There used to be a table where you would see a list kind of like here on the left-hand side where it has all the user roles and there'd be like a checkbox grid. What they've done is they've broken this up by a user role and then you decide what they get access to. Now we scroll down and we find the WordPress login redirect. And instead of inherit, which is going to inherit the rules of just a normal WordPress subscriber, we want this to be custom. Or in your case, you could do apprentice homepage if that made sense for you. So for me, I would want this to be my dashboard or my login page. So when you click on this, you're just gonna be able to search through the pages that are on your site. Um, I might just choose my login demos as an example. And, and there you go. You can then have all users just be redirected there. Now you might've caught a glimpse of it right here. The second update that I want to inform you about is admin bar visibility. So again, prior to this update, if you were not using another plugin that hid the admin bar, your users were seeing it. And it's this bar right here at the top that says the name of your site. You know, it probably doesn't have a lot here for them, but it did probably have their name and then like log out. I think this bar personally looks kind of unprofessional. It doesn't look very clean, like it belongs on the rest of your website. So we want to hide that. So we're gonna to go to admin bar visibility and we're just going to say hidden. By default, it would probably say inherit. For admins, it'll say displayed or inherit, um, but we're gonna choose hidden for the subscriber user role. And by the way, you can choose these options for yourself as administrator as well. Now with these two features enabled, you can delete those other plugins. So for example, I used a plugin called hide admin bar and I used another plugin called like WordPress login redirect. Funny enough, that's exactly what this feature is called. For those of you that are using WooCommerce, WooCommerce actually already handles this themselves. It's actually um, one of the nice benefits of using WooCommerce. You have that custom uh, account page for logging in users and it auto redirects them there. So this is really for those who are using Thrivecart or another solution that's not WooCommerce. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, these two features are fantastic and you can go ahead and uh, enable them and delete those plugins if you downloaded them. Now, I think it's important to mention that while users will never be able to get access to the admin area using normal workflows, such as resetting their password or logging in or anything like that, if you have a savvy user base, kind of like mine, where a user could, if they wanted to type in, you know, dot com slash WP admin, they still will be able to get into the back end of your website and they still will see some of those just unfortunate like WordPressy dashboard things and they will be able to access their profile, which if you're using some plugins could have data about the user you don't necessarily want them to see. So in this case, I recommend a plugin called Remove Dashboard Access. It works quite well, it's pretty lightweight and it's going to keep people completely out of the back end. Now I have already submitted my feedback to Thrive that I would actually like this feature just built into this user 
manager access section or even into the WordPress login redirect option, just keep subscribers out of the WordPress backend completely. So that is one minor criticism that I have and a plugin you might still need.